When maneuvering around the model in Smart Estimator, there's several functionalities. So you can rotate by right-clicking the mouse and moving. You can pan by holding the control key and <coughs> right-clicking the mouse and moving the mouse. And you can zoom by rolling in and out with the roller wheel on your mouse. Um, you can also access these tools on the top here. So you've got zoom, which becomes a click and drag, rotate, left click and drag, and move. <coughs> Pattern, sorry. Left click and drag. When dragging different parts of the software, there's two click and drag functionalities. So if you click a single time, it will grab and hold the scaffold to allow you to move it with the mouse until you click a second time. Or you can click and hold and then drag and when you release, it will release. When editing things such as board detail or add-ons, you can see the highlight selects a full lift at a time, for example. If we hold the shift key, it will highlight all lifts above the lift that we're hovering over. If we hold the control key, it will select just one. And this functionality is true of most aspects of the software. So you can see here we're selecting the full perimeter. If we hold control, we can affect the height of just a single elevation. So control is select one, shift is select all. There's also some quick snaps for viewpoints. So we can snap to a 3D view, we can snap to a front view, and we can snap to a top down view to speed up the process. When hovering over different parts of the scaffold, we get toolbox tips which pop up with dimensional boxes where we can edit different parts of the scaffold. So if we take the elevation one, for example, we've got the elevation name. We can hit the tab key on the keyboard and tap down to the length, which we can change to 20 meters, for example. And we can also tab down to the selection boxes where we can use the arrow keys to click across to the one we desire and press enter to affect that change as well.